his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shot within the flow of the offense. So for the Raptors right now, Ananobi and Barnes are the forwards. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt. And it's Siakam in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, even after it appeared that there was a falling out, Kyrie Irving remains a Brooklyn net. Now, I suppose cooler heads prevail, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Irving on the move here in the near future. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got three assists tonight. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. Now here's Van Vliet. Back to Ananobi. Over Warren. And the Raptors get it back. Oh, denied by Durant. We've seen Durant really improve as a defender, using his impressive length to block shots. The Raptors have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Barnes passes to Van Vliet. Siakam, it's good on the putback. A much needed bucket after clanking their first four shots. Van Vliet against Mills. And that one's good. Mills has got his first points of the night. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? It's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. Basket counts. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Trent. Van Vliet outside. Here's Siakam. Trent from long range. And the Raptors miss again. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's Durant. The shot won't fall. And Toronto will come the other way. Van Vliet on the wing. Launches a three. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ballgame. And the front office for Brooklyn has said they need selfless players who want to be there and are available. Well, B.A., the message is pretty clear. After Kyrie Irving missed most of last year due to personal choices, the Nets want all hands on deck this go around. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. And now it seems Siakam is in his prime. How do you see his place in the league, Grant? Well, I really like him, but he seems to be an elite second option. I'm not sure if you want to build an entire offense around him, but certainly has proven to be an important piece to a championship-level team. Young, he's checked in for Toronto. Oh, excellent work in transition. Pushing the ball up the floor like that helps you find easier shots. Knocked away. And now the Raptors on the break. Van Vliet with it. Now guarded by Curry. Van Vliet misses. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Outside Curry. There's the triple. Siakam pulls down the board. Siakam's got rebound number seven tonight. Van Vliet misses. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And the basket by Trent. A quality pass, setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. 
to the middle. Pass to Simmons. Last two minutes to play. Third quarter. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Simmons has got 10. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And for the Raptors, they're shooting just 33% so far time in this out, game. Time, time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. And the NBA always tinkering with the rule book, Richard. Any rules you'd like to see change? The uh, the Richard Jefferson effect? No, hold on. A lot of people ask me about the four-point shot, and I just tell them, do you see where Steph and Clay and Damian Lillard are shooting from now? Where are you going to put a four-point shot? All we're going to do is reward those guys for a skill that they already have. And I think sometimes you also have to look at the impact that it will have on the game of basketball. If you just have kids trying to shoot these shots or trying to see where they can come from, then you have no idea what it will do to their skill impact. So I, I don't think that that would be a good thing for the game of basketball. Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving comes in for Sumner. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. Bridges comes in for Trent. He hasn't even made one point yet this quarter. Man, his team desperately needs him to get caught. Achua's checked in for Toronto. Here's Toronto with the ball. Van Vliet with it. 11 points in the game. Boucher outside. Now Bridges. Six to shoot. The kick out to Van Vliet. Launches it. Gets the three ball to go. 14 points for him. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Here's Simmons. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got four assists in the game. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Bridges outside. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Here's Barnes. Brooklyn with the board. Irving's got his sixth rebound on the night. Durant against Bridges. Durant's shot is off. Here's Barnes. Curry with some nice D. The Nets have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. And there's Durant. That one's good. All the assist from Warren. Durant's got 19 points. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Van Vliet. That shot missing. Good D by Simmons. Inside. With two seconds left. He gets it in there. Simmons has got 14 points for the game. To me, the passing of Durant, that's what separates him from other superstars. Katie's willing to move the ball. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Kevin Durant, Patrick Mills out there with Edmund Sumner. Then they're sharp, and it's Thomas in a small forward. So that's the Nets five. Ananobi, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Ah, uh, you know, B.I., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Van Vliet's checked in for Scotty Barnes. Vliet. 
So it's Toronto now. It's an 18-point game. Bridges, left side. And it's in there. If they're going to want to close the gap, they're going to need to start running more sets through him. Let your stars lead the way. Come on. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. Now here's Durant. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Durant's got 21. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Outside Ananobi. The open shot, Van Vliet. And another basket for Toronto. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Durant. Got it. Good job in the low post. 23 points in the game. Tough hoop from Kevin Durant. KD makes those look way easier than they actually are. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Now here's Bridges. Trent finds Bridges. The offensive rebound. And he gets that one. And just a straight baller move from Siakam. I mean, shrugging off the coverage and keeping his focus on that basket. Here's Sumner. The shot off that time. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Here's Ananobi. Now here's Trent. Not a lot of room. And he gets the bucket. Big size difference there. And he takes advantage. You've got to exploit the mismatch. Durant against Bridges. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. They'll pin that one on Pascal Siakam. You look at Durant's game and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it. He's so polished in every area. His skills are so sharp. And Kevin Durant post Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Grant. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. Van Vliet misses. He continues to let it fly. But the makes have been few and far between. To the paint. Drops in the layup for two. I just love when team make it work down low. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Van Vliet, the pass to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. The three is up. The rebound by the Nets. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Durant against Bridges. Shoots over Bridges. Durant with the bucket. Durant's got 27 points. How many guys his size can pull up off the dribble and move like that? Durant is the real unicorn. And an Obi for three. And so the ball out of bounds. And an Obi touched it last. Irving checked in for Sumner. Kyrie Irving. For Brooklyn, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Here's Durant. That one's good for two. Durant's got 12 points here in the second half. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Timeout called the Raptors. In 2008, Kevin Durant ran away with the Rookie of the Year award. It wasn't even really close. And still, I'm not sure we realize what an all-time great he became. Round of applause for your next youth hit team. present the New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He thinks it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Hey, these fans love him so much, and when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Now here's Durant. 